Hello, Joanne. Max, nice to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. And there's been a lot of vacancies, there have been a lot of bankruptcies reported. What's going on with retail right now? A lot of the bankruptcies that we're seeing are really generated by stores and malls and they're the number of the proliferation of malls over the last number of years to the point where we're overstored. But if we look at New York, Chicago, perhaps Boston, a little bit Miami, LA, San Francisco, and we look at urban markets and then we translate that into high streets all over the world, yes there are vacancies but there are very relevant streets and the stores along those streets will continue to evolve, change, and be leased. Um, obviously on the Nike deal on Fifth Avenue the rents were record-breaking through the roof. Um, do you think that Fifth Avenue rents are going to reach that point again? Are they a little inflated? One can't deny that. Look at Ralph Lauren. We're all saying, oh my goodness, Ralph Lauren's closed. You know, they're already closed. Right. They made the announcement, the store's done. Yes, it's true that Fifth Avenue, not unlike other corridors, are beginning to have more vacancies than we'd like to see. But again, it's part of this whole change in the way that business gets done. And, and my prediction is that there'll be downsizing of the existing stores. Um, people will be more efficient. You can go online in the store and you can have things delivered if they don't have your size. So all of these things help to to create a different kind of a, a, a selling and, and buying experience. This whole idea of creating a customer experience began long ago. I think technology has accelerated it in a great way. It's also caused the closing of a number of stores who've never embraced this and have never created that excitement between what you can see online and what you can do when you go to the store to buy something. What areas of the city would you say are strong now in terms of retail? We represent 23 Wall, great opportunity now um, with a change of ownership. Um, you've got uh, L&L did a great job with a number of their stores. You've got the transportation hub. You've got the subways. Uh, it's got visitors, it has tourists, and it's robust. So I think that's doing really pretty well. Flatiron's terrific. There are very few vacancies in Flatiron. Why? You have the right tenants housed by the right office tenants and the right residential tenants. It, the mix works. What are the areas that aren't doing so well? Oh, well, I think Third Avenue is challenged. Perhaps now the subway, everybody's very excited about it. Um, I think that'll help. And by the way, I, I think the subway is supposed to be extraordinary in terms of um, how fast and how, how easily people can move through the city now. And I think that's a great plus for the Third Avenue corridor. Um, but I think we'll, we'll see it start to improve. Joanne, what are the landlords doing to uh, stay proactive and corral retail tenants? Great question. The smart landlords are looking at opportunity a little differently. And I, one of the things that I'm seeing which I think is so interesting, and we've done it ourselves, is if the landlord and tenant are so disposed, they like the location, the landlord likes the tenant, they feel like they're the right fit, we're doing maybe a temporary one-year deal with a right to extend to a full-term deal. It works. It doesn't work all the time, but sometimes it does because tenants, retailers don't want to take a chance. You know, they, they are concerned about the market. They are concerned about opening new stores. And if they can, it's not a pop-up per se because we really do negotiate a full-term deal, but we have that one-year right to kick or a one-year with a right to extend depending on how the lease is written. It's working. And it's helpful because no one feels that sense of risk that they had in the past. Now, not every landlord's in a position where they can do that because oftentimes they have bank covenants that don't permit it mm -hmm. in other situations as well. Joanne, thank you so much for having us today. Thank you. Thank you.